Hi, I'm Malcolm. And I'm Rachel. We're two Canadians living on our 39-foot main ship trawler, living an adventure of a lifetime. We invite you to follow along as we travel 6,000 miles through Canadian and U.S. waterways around America's Great Loop. Well, hi there. We are at the bottom of the Chambly Canal, at the bottom of Lock 1. In fact, here they have Locks 1, 2, 3. So it's very picturesque as you come down towards this uh, body of water here. And we had some fun today looking through the Chambly Fort and practicing some French. <laughs> so uh, today we are going to head a short way to the Ors Lock. I believe it's called St. Ors Lock. Um, and we're going to go through that lock and then just stay at the bottom of the lock. So it's not a very long day today. It should take us maybe three hours, maybe a bit more. Um, and then we'll be at the same level as the St. Lawrence and be able to head over to Montreal whenever the conditions allow. So um, today we're preparing to untie the lines and it's going to be another hot day. It's 30 degrees Celsius and that's around, uh, I think it's around 86 degrees. Fahrenheit. So it's another hot day. We're going to have to make sure you drink lots of water and not stay out in the sun too long. But uh, it's very enjoyable to be out on the water. It's always cooler out on the water. Um, so we're getting ready to go and hope you're having a great day.
As we are traveling along the Richelieu River, we notice that we are going with the current and gaining a bit of speed since the river flows down towards the St. Lawrence. We know that once we join the St. Lawrence, we will be against the current, so we are enjoying gaining a little bit of speed now. At one time, Quebec was a highly religious society, under the domination of the Roman Catholic Church, as evidenced by all the elaborate churches along the shores of the Richelieu River. But the Quebec society underwent a massive change in the 1960s. As people moved to big cities, it became more educated and less religious, and Quebec morphed into a more urban, secular society. Today and we've been out uh, I think three or so hours. It's uh, pretty warm again but uh, we're getting a nice breeze being on the water and we're just coming up to the St. Wells Lock now um, and I think they close at 4 and we're getting there I don't know around 3 30 or so and I think they're gonna be able to lock us through which is great. That way we'll be at the bottom of the lock and able to leave whenever we like tomorrow morning and not have to wait for a, a, the opening of the lock. It's a beautiful area around here. We're seeing a lot of waterfront homes, some really large, some smaller, quite a few docks out with some boats. And I saw a couple of places that had that had not got their dock in yet. But it's that time of year, people are starting to get their docks in and uh, start to get back out on the water again. So a uh, very nice journey along the Richelieu River today. Known as the 10th lock of the Richelieu and opened in 1849, the St. Ours Canal is a continuation of the Chambly Canal, bypassing the final obstacle to navigation between the St. Lawrence River and Lake Champlain. So in this lock, the St. Ours lock, there's a floating dock right inside the lock itself. So we're able to get off and just tie up and they helped us do that. Another boat's coming in behind our buddy boat 
and uh, the lockmaster just walked up and up and down this dock. I'm not sure how far we go down, um, but this is a pretty easy way to lock. We're already down most of the way. I think it's about five feet total drop. And then we're going to stay at the bottom of the lock. So we've arrived at our destination. We're at the bottom of the St. Urs Lock and it's on the Richelieu River, and it's the last lock before we head into the St. Lawrence River. You can see our boat is docked there, and we went about, I think it was 27.2 nautical miles. It took us about three hours and 40 minutes, and we were lucky to scrape in that lockage there because they close in just a few minutes. So it was very kind of them to put us through. And so we're gonna um, just settle in, maybe go for a little walk around the area. And I know there is a town called St. Urs, but we're not actually right in it within walking distance. It's a little bit farther up the river. But I think there's a couple of little places we can walk around here. So probably should be nice and quiet this evening. And uh, looking forward to a nice peaceful time here at St. Urs Lock.